Hola, buenos días. Hello, good morning. First and foremost, thank you very much for being here and thanks for paying attention to us. On behalf of Universitari Vilvice Hospital, I would like to thank the project for choosing our project to be part of the largest project Arts in Health, which through different art manifestations aims at improving health and human well-being. I have to acknowledge that it's been difficult for me to choose my words in this brief presentation. I love the project so much that if you don't set a limit, I could speak forever about its benefits and what it has entailed for many people. So my friend David told me, don't worry about time. You have 30,000 seconds sentinel, so thanks for your support, David. So everything is easier than it looks. Let me tell you about what this project Relatos Narratives is about. Relatos Narratives is an initiative in the framework of the global program to humanize Belvice Hospital. It aims patients, relatives, and health professionals. The project invites in-house patients to express their emotions, feelings, and concerns through a narrative, and the narrative will be curated in a book, in a book that you can see here, that will be offered to future patients who are interested in reading it. The project was started in 2017, in November 2017, and in the last five years we have edited three books. The book is entitled From My Room, Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. The content of the books is very heterogeneous. Each patient builds his or her own reality and the way to face it. From a fictional approach, from a realistic perspective, but all of them combining a creative and artistic flow, which is just great. As it has been shown, the consolidation of the project is today a reality. We keep receiving more and more tales for a fourth volume. And let me give you a, well, the, the, the cover of the book will be in blue Mediterranean. Now we'll script a short clip that aims at symbolizing that the magics of the project somehow surrounded the hospital, embraced us all, patients right from the bottom of their hearts, and professionals felt that each and every one of the tales included in the book is part of their task, of their job. I will give the floor to my colleagues so that they can tell us more about what it meant for them, the project, Relatos Narratives. And of course, I would like to thank them warmly to both of them, as well as all the authors and narrators, thanks for your amazing contribution. They have awarded us with their narratives, their tales, and they have put at our disposal a very valuable tool that confirms what we knew, what, what we knew already. Behind each patient, there is a biography, a life timeline, and an identity, and of course. This is a way to know also that when you step into a patient's room, you end up becoming part of their constellation, of their history. They are the main characters. Thank you.
Atención, atención. El paciente de la habitación 513, cama 2, ha entregado su relato. Hello and good morning. My name is Merche E. And I would like to read a few words that define what bonds us here. The text is in Spanish. Art. Art is all activities in which humankind reproduces some element from reality through matter, sound, or images. Art is inherent to humankind. It's present since the beginning of humanity, but in its evolution we've learned uh, to value it, to share it with others and to become better. And that's why we call it universal health. Health is a state of well-being, not only physical well-being, but also mental and social well-being. And Health goes far beyond experiencing a condition or a symptom or not experiencing them. I would like to ask you, because I understand that after what Dr. Kabeth has said, we're experiencing a revolution. So I would like to ask you a small gesture, and I would like you to put your hand wherever you feel your heart. Empty yourself, exhale like a balloon as much as you can. Please expel all the air inside you and inhale deeply. Take a deep breath. And I would like to thank you warmly for this gesture because, you know, once I heard that each breath is a new opportunity and I believe we've been present here for a second and being present is an opportunity and opportunities mean life as well I am Merche I am nervous I get emotional when I speak in front of an audience what I would like to say here is that Relatos Narratives is composed by 160 presences 22 tales have not yet been published, but have already been hosted, so 182. I am the main character of two of the tales, and I'm not the same in both of them. Narratives, Relatos, is the first project in which the patient is at the center. The patient is an active character. It's not, I mean, patients are not considered passive objects, but active subjects. Patients are provided with tools and they decide how to use them. This is a way to entail patients to feel free. When you are admitted in a hospital, your, your, time, your time, your privacy are taken away from you. So if you decide to use these tools, patients feel boundless unjudged and this underlines something that patients oftentimes lose because patients are awaiting in a context of uncertainty so art is the only option to take individual decisions and art is always fine it's all right so then if the tale is published it becomes part of a book containing experiences of essence and presence because this is what essence is about, isn't it? The book contains essences which are strong, robust, and free. So, seeing your text published in the long-lasting pages of a book allocates you with a sense of humanity, ownership, but not only this, it also empowers you. It humanizes you, and it heals you which is different from 
overcoming a condition or a disease. Relatos is a way to teach how to fish, not giving you the fish. And patients transformed into artists can free themselves and regain humanity beyond being a patient. Isn't it beautiful as a project? I like quotes, and I would like to share a quote with you. Nikola Tesla once said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think about energy, frequency, and vibration. Energy that hits my heart. Frequency, what do I do and how do I do it to sustain the vibration? Vibration is absolute. I love vibration. We have to be all together, the three of them. Vibration is about uh, resonating in others through small gestures. I would like to invite you to once again take a deep breath as at the beginning of my presentation in order to be present and I will keep you in my eye as a picture, as a beautiful, ephemeral piece of art which will last forever in my heart. Thanks and thanks to Relatos. Hello, I have a poor relationship with microphones. Let me start by acknowledging this. First of all, I would like to start by saying that every time I see steps, I look my way around. Uh, there's always a, a friendly hand that helps me up. A baluster, that's what I look for. So here I have a little bit of... Uh, I have some notes. I've seen many of you carrying notes. I thought I would be the only one reading notes. For me, it's very nice to be here. I am feeling emotional. When I was a child, about 50 years ago, on Saturday's night, I would come here to the magic fountain in front of the museum, and we would play around the lights and colors. So from the fountain, in this wet environment, we would see this majestic building today turned into a museum, lightened by anti-air. Mm. We're in Catalonia, and here is where one of the most universal architects was born, Gaudí. His family name, Gaudí, if you translated into Spanish, means enjoying. Gaudí in Catalan means enjoy. So millions and millions of people visit her his work every year. Sagrada Familia, Casa Badlo, amongst others, in our beloved Barcelona. When we have fun, when we enjoy life, we step aside our circumstances and challenges. Edouard Mons, Van Gogh, and Frida Kahlo experienced this, right? What would have Frida done without her paintings? There's a quote in Spanish that says, Trees don't let you see the forest. So tales, narratives, allows you to see the big picture, the forest, and its frondosity, but also the trees and the texture of the trees, the form of leaves, the different colors and tones. Narratives is not a project, it's, it's a reality today. Antonia, Antonia, she invited me to participate in the presentation of the third volume of Relatos, and I realized that I had been a narrator. I had used art writing and therapeutic writing in the past. So, so relatos, narratives is useful not only when you write your tale, but when you read your tale and others. So I asked myself, when I was admitted in Belvedere Hospital, when would it have been more useful 
to read tales. I, rem I remember four heart surgeries, a pulmonary, a bilateral pulmonary, a bypass in our left, in my left side of the heart. Look at how I speak. I like I like my voice and a bypass to improve my blood irrigation. But in the four months that I was admitted in hospital, the moment when reading tales would have been more useful was when I was told that I had to be amputated my left leg. It was back then that having this tool at my disposal would have been a great deal of support in order to digest and accept my new reality. So to conclude, allow me to share a recommendation with you. Before I was a taxi driver here in Barcelona, and I'm in love with my city, I invite you to, well, you have received a list. No, no, I'm sure you have a to-do list, a personal to-do list. So please write down in capital letters, visiting Barcelona and Catalonia on April the 23rd, San Jordi's day, and enjoy the city, which is peacefully invaded by citizens, books, and flowers. And if you come by, please come to the presentation of Relatos in our beloved Belviche Hospital. Last but not least, if you can, please come to the Magic Fountain, and I am sure you will see children playing around running around and having a lot of fun while without knowing it they are creating the future memories of their childhoods and let me conclude by saying that i want to visit sardagnola museum it looks like a marvelous museum i'm just addicted to museums and i hadn't heard of this museum thank you very much